bit of energy, they can make it over, so they will conduct sometimes, but not all the time. And then for insulators, that this requires too much for practical purposes to make it over. Although you can, anything can conduct if you hit it with enough <laughs> voltage. I guess some things will probably burn up before it gets to conducting, but I have not experimented with that too much. There's a guy on YouTube who has. What was that? There's a guy on YouTube who has. <laughs> I'm not surprised. Is he actually just burning stuff up or he yeah, just, he's, he's actually doing some no, investigation? He's just, He's just burning stuff up. Okay. He's putting clips on both sides of random objects and seeing what happens. Graphite pencils and... I'm certainly intrigued by this now. And if you ever want to feel better about yourself, watch Guy Jumps into Cactus if you haven't seen it. <laughs> I, I hate laughing at other people's pain, except for his. and leave you with this last thought. Basically from the start of right here, if you look at the potential between an electron and the nucleus of an atom, you apply these principles to it, you can actually, this is how you derive the quantum levels, the four quantum levels of, of atoms. So. Is it also how they figured out where like the orbitals are? Because I mean, I'm in chemistry, so I know they have different, the different orbitals have different shapes as the part you got from the atom. Yep, they come from the same this. equations, how they figured out the shapes there. Yeah, it, it comes right out of that. Um, I have done that, I haven't gone through the full derivation. It does require doing uh, calculus in spherical coordinates, which makes it a lot easier unless you've never had it before. So uh, I'm not going to attack you with that, but it is a certain fascination with the fact that it does come out of basically this. And I think on that note, I wish you a good night. And Thursday's the last bit. You said you were going to hand out. Thank you.